Hello there, welcome back to the Stark campaign. I think this episode has been uploaded on the 3rd of September, which means there should be Crusader Kings free contents out on the channel by now. If you are interested, go ahead and have a look. Your support in uh, such campaigns would be greatly appreciated. I'm trying to grow the channel uh, always, and Crusader Kings free is a great opportunity for me to do so. But anyway, on to the uh, relevant campaign and that is here Queen Lyanna of the North we are now 24 years old our son is eight daughter is four and another daughter is one but we should uh, continue to uh, zealously spread our culture and religion now there is a way there is a little way down here this guy the castle of Hags Meyer under House Nayland is actually uh, independent right now and we could declare war on it and we are going to we're gonna force vassalize these guys Everybody was surely on in their obligations, but we only really need the uh, one army here. You have uh, over a thousand people, don't you, Mira Reed? And uh, you also have Greengood, he's relatively close, and... Uh, well, we'll say that Herbert was in the region for a sort of roleplay region there. Some of your kin are unhappy that you have granted Lordship of Weeping Bay to Lord Rickard Carstark, as they're expecting it themselves. Brandon and Rickon, could you not... Rickon especially, you are my husband, known as the Lucky. You should really uh, get over not being landed right now. You are a king in name. Although it is, uh, it is good to see that uh, the car stocks are back. They don't have car holds, and the car hold goes to the fence, but I'm still happy. Hopefully you guys can get an heir, otherwise uh, House Tristan here is going to be taken over. Oh, the son of the Lord Commander of the... Uh, oh, interesting. We had a car stocks up the High Lordship, and good for them. If we do need more forces, there are an extra 216 on the way south now, but I doubt we need them. This castle is very easy to take over. A minor title available. Uh, Captain of the Household Guard. Interesting. Well, let's give it to... Uh, we could give it to Corey. He's quite the uh, the general man here. Corey the Bear. Uh, does he have a job? Corey the Bear now does have a job. Good for him. Hopefully he stays. He has a wife. He has a son gear of ready hold who we are not he's got faith we also could go see of the wrong village let's uh, assign him a new guardian assign him a guardian under Brandon he likes the wildlings yes you already do have the faith focus good as for you hopefully you'll just uh, convert Corey the bear actually we'll also arrange a betrayal perhaps they are people at court. There is a six-year-old Karstark, actually, which would be a decent match for you. Well, let's go ahead and do that. It'd be very interesting to see the uh, ruddy holes given a lordship in memory of John. I'm sure John would want such a thing. But yes, Mira is now beginning to besiege Hags Meyer. What is this? I really hope King Recon is doing well. Yeah, I'll uh, simply ask him if he's doing well. We are struggling to keep the opinion up of him. I know, he's a uh, we're going to stop that now. We'll just have to live with a husband who doesn't really like us. But we have enough children here. We could get rid of him if we really did want to. Oh, no, we can't anymore. That's uh, expired. Could get rid of a Malara here, but why do that? Could get rid of Rodri. No, never. Mira Reed, never. Brian, Greengood, Locke. Wyman the third. Eh, there's no one we really would want to get rid of. I'm not sure there's anyone we would in... In, uh, at all. The Risewells and the Glovers have been quite dicks, but we cannot revoke your land, unfortunately. Castle Wolves. No, we want your High Lordship. The Wolves would. And revoking that would just upset everyone too much. We're not going to. But it would be interesting to see maybe the Mormons to have this uh, High Lordship from their island all the way over there. Or there are other houses in the area. Perhaps even the uh, Foresters could be a good match for that. The Foresters have been very loyal. Uh, Roderick's been a commander for many, many years. But anyway, let's, uh, let's get on with this campaign here. Good. We are victorious. He's been taken as a prisoner by uh, Lady of the Neck. Good for her. All uh, enforced peace on this man. Very good. They are still prisoners of Mira, and I think we'll give the land directly to Mira, perhaps. Oh, we just got this uh, Sir Raymond as a direct vassal. No, we'll keep him directly. It's not going to upset anyone if we have him. No. We will have a hold of feast. Let's go ahead with that. We're still trying to kill the Lord of Dreadfort. It's not really necessary, is it? Um, 
now we'll just keep uh, everything how it is with the sigil and such. Move the army back, no need for you to be there. We didn't lose a single man, but we did gain an extra bit of land. Your master of coin, Lord Rickard, has grave news, part of the castle. Where the guests will be staying, it needs a repair. Just do it, we don't care about the cost. And, um, well, we're gregarious, but we are humble, so again, I won't spend lavish on food, I'll spend just enough. Most preparations have been made, excellent. Uh, Mormont has actually turned us down here. And so has uh, Flint's Finger. Both of these people like us relatively. While pondering over the guest list for the feast, I wonder if I should invite my friend Maris. Now, why is Maris not married? The whole reason you were sent over here was to marry to... Uh, well, you're Borok's daughter, of course. You were meant to marry... Was it the, the heir here? John Amber, he's actually betrayed somewhere else. Okay, we're going to invite her back to court then. Excellent. We will invite her. In more ways than one. And until next time with the war, of course... By gates of King's Court, who on earth are you? You, you're not the guy who should be there. He would give up the land, but how on earth did you get the King's Court? He inherited it, and he was granted. Benjikut was granted it by who? Who granted you this? It sure wasn't me, and you're not a major house or anything like it. Inciting him to revolt would be one little way to get him out of the way. Hmm. Who is a spy master at the moment? Spy master is Rodri, and Rodri would like land himself. He is an ambitious man, so we can say that uh, Rodri is planning the uh, the uh, revolt here, so that this man could be put off of his uh, his perch there. Only Lady Tallheart is worth bribing, but we'll see exactly how this goes. In fact, we will uh, send you to build a spy network in the area or scheme. Um. Plot power increase. Yeah, we'll put that down there. See exactly how it's how it goes. As for the army, though, you'll uh, be put down as usual. So, of 84 other random men, that's good. Still some veterans there. The war has ended. Uh, Do you wish? Yes, we will reappoint the old council. I don't even think it changed. Everyone stayed relatively loyal there. However, we do have a position for a priest. Now, let's give that to. Uh, you are quite the warrior, John Carstark. And you have a dire wolf. Ah. Huh. Anna Wolf. Are you sure you're not Rickon? Anyway, the priest, we could give it to Rickon here, get him on the council. Sure. We'll make Rickon a, uh, a priest here. Just gives him a bit of position, really. He keeps on begging for legitimacy and what have you. Let's have a look at our commanders again. We are very good on commanders. We do have a 19 here, Mistress Adara, who we could replace, but. Oh, there's a Lion of Barstock who's good as well. And again, she has a couple of dogs there. No, we'll leave. We'll leave her. Roderick the Ruined is getting a bit old. We could retire him. He is infirm as well. Yeah, we'll retire Roderick. And we'll give the position to... Lyanna Bar Stark. The Barrow Stark woman. She has a son, Kristen Baratheon. Oh, of course, yes. The uh, Northman Old Gods Baratheon dynasty. In the Summer Islands, women dance in an alluring and exotic manner, and a troop of such dancers is passing through Winterfell. Do you wish to hire these exotic dancers for your feast? They would provide a very appealing sight for guests. Excellent. No feast is complete without them. And to better, Paul has had a loot added to her treasury. House of Paul isn't doing too well. They have a door to there, but they're not doing well at all. The guests have finally arrived in Winterfell. They have been given bread and salt, as is their guest right. All is now ready. The cooks have worked day and night preparing the food. Our stocks of red wine have been replenished, and the palace has never looked lovelier. Welcome to my feast, everyone who turned up. I rushed around trying to get everyone to work harder, making sure everything was ready for the feast. I waited impatiently for my friend Maris but, uh, to arrive, but still did my best to make sure every guest felt welcome. She never showed up. Maris, you live here now. Maris. And she has, uh, Valerian blood? Wait, she has dragon blood. Through Brandon, I suppose, but she doesn't have the, uh, Stark blood showing. You're still alive, Marna Snow, as well. So is your husband, Borok. Good for you. Well, let's, uh, see if we've got another good match for you here. You're only 21, so a younger man is a Trent. It's not the best. Maybe out far, well, we could uh, see you with. 
Halley's Lock. He looks like a good man. Slothful, Gregarious, kind, quick, temperate. Halley's Lock. Would you come to court by chance? No. No reason to move. He is, however, the heir to a lordship, a high lordship. So we'll, uh, we'll arrange the betrothal here between him and... Not betrothal. Arrange the marriage between him and my friend. My friend Maris. Uh, as for this, Rickon must be a resumator. As for this, who? What? Oh, it's Karstark. Rickon Karstark. She uh, has used her attendance in the feast in Winterfell to present a petition for justice. She claims that Rickon Karstark made an attempt on her life. Did he now? Did he really? He's just Rickon Karstark. He works for the Magnars. He's got a son who's not very useful. He is... He's dying of cancer, but he is cruel. Zealot's brave. He is a, dis a dishonourable man. Okay, let's have him arrested then. Excellent. Now, he has 29 gold. We could uh, try and claim that if he fails a trial. Let's call him for trial. At the feast begins, Lord Rickard Barstark presented a petition before the court. He says that crime and banditry in Castle Carwin is an increasing threat and that the local sheriffs cannot contain the problem. Fine, we will uh, dispatch men to help you out there. House of Barstark, I'm glad that you are now uh, in charge of somewhere there. But it's only you, your sister, and your two children. Hopefully you do get your dynasty up and running. Fine, we will send someone to deal with the problem. I started talking to one of my guests at the feast and found them most interesting. Hours flew by, wine bottles were emptied, other guests excused themselves and went to bed, but we kept talking until the wee hours. Excellent, we've become close friends with the uh, lady here. Can we invite her to court? Uh, we asked her to leave court. She's actually already in my court. Sarah Nori. Well, very good. I appreciate my friends. Any marriage we can go for with you? There's an attractive Rodri, perhaps. Would this make him highborn? It is! Rodri Skinner. He will not be given the name Skinner. No way, but I have two friends now married to each other. That's very good. I hope they, uh, they get on themselves. But let's give him a new sigil. He is the direct heir to Brandon Stark. Let's give him a new name. The Rose Stark, perhaps? And I do know there is a wolf around here somewhere, so I might take a little bit of time to find it. Ah, well, maybe I won't. Let's give him a uh, bit of a sigil there. A standing one? Yeah, a standing one. We'll give him a uh, black background with a red doggy, perhaps. As to uh, take from my colours, as I'm the lady in charge of the mount. The Rose Starks. Sure. Rodri Rose Stark has found a new house. His sister is not part of his house, Maris. But hopefully she'll go off and uh, marry elsewhere. Excellent. Congratulations to the Rose Starks. I'm sure you'll be granted land when there is a, a plot available. Lord Eddard organised a group of men to tackle the bandits and rogues in Castle Carwin. He successfully captured or killed many prominent criminals and publicly hanged them as an example to others. Excellent. Thank you very much. And it could be said I invited by him with an ulterior motive, seeing as I claim Barrel Lands as mine. Perhaps we can, uh, some way convince him to give it up to me. No, we, we don't need that. We'll lose the uh, title there. Some of my guests do not seem satisfied with the food, but I would never have thought one of them would have complained out loud. Lord Rickard said a lot of nasty stuff about food and I couldn't help but feel irritated. You bad man. Rickon Karstark has demanded a trial before the court, which Lord... Wyman Manley will oversee to ensure justice is served. At the start of the trial, he is formally accused of sedation and conspiracy against the realm, a charge brought by the Queen. Excellent. Uh, we'll interrogate him now. Lord Wyman stuttered, stammered, and incurrently rambled in front of the accused. That's no good. He has been found innocent. We'll have no choice but to release him. And that's apparently made me stressed. Damn it. As for you, you'll be left to rot. I accept your suggestion. Well, excellent. That means uh, Lady Maris here will, uh, a granddaughter of Brandon Stark, will go on to marry into Lord Locke. Excellent. Last of the guests have returned home, and everyone else uh, agreed it was a great feast, the greatest of the year, I'm sure. Good for you, uh, Robert II. You have two parents alive, yet you're somehow king. David and Marcella. Whatever happened to Cersei? Uh, she did die. 
These lands now belong to Marcella. Who has quite a lot of kids. Alain Lannister is unmarried, actually. We don't need Lannisters in our court. We need Lannisters gone, if anything. But I wasn't alive during those times. However, however I am known as a tyrant. And a bit stressed. If my tyrant a bit stressed, I might go ahead and do something a little tyrannical, perhaps. Oh, Lord, uh, Harrow here is causing some trouble, is he? Valera, Rodri, Reed, Dustin. No, if I'm a little bit of a uh, tyrant, what would stop me from doing something like this? It just upset everyone a little bit, but we can do a little bit of tyranny. Not too much, but a little bit. We are the party queen after all, and he has accepted. Ah, Princess Ariane has declared Dornish independence on the Iron Throne. She does not have much of an army. Not much at all. Well, we have a new little bit of land here. Let's uh, let's settle down our good friends, Rodri and Sara, down here. I'm sure they'll get on very well in the Castle of King's Course. Master Rodri of King's Course. He is known as a wildling, however, and his heir is Borok, his father. Hopefully these two produce an heir. We wouldn't want Borok of the Reals taking over there, would we? He is still a wildling, but he is of the old gods. We need him to uh, change his culture at some point. There is a hill clansman of the old gods. I'm sure my two friends here are very happy. You want to actually kill Winton Trent? Could you not try and kill Winton Trent? Let's actually uh, put back auto stop plus. Wait, what? Rickon Stark is plotting to kill me. He'll be arrested at. Oh no. Rickon Stark. Rickon Stark has to be dealt with. We know he was openly trying to kill us now. There's a lot of stop plots. No, I'll grant I was whoever I wish. Thank you. Apparently needs so many days to get around here. Excellent. Rickon. Ah, tyranny, you say. Tyranny. Arresting my own husband who's trying to kill me is tyranny. Just Gawain here. Well, I'm a little bit stressed for reason now, hey. Gawain? Can provoke. We will not. Excellent, we have some uh, Stark dice nice neighbors here. you got the Bar Starks and you got the Rose Starks right there. Very good. Anything we can do about the uh, Riverlands at all? Water disputes, force vassalizations? No. Just claiming Sea Guard, but that's, uh, that's a lot of lands unattached. I do not like Bordigor. Lots of peace be with me. With me, that's uh, always welcome. Argrel Stark, my cousin and betrothal to Lord of the uh, Barrowlands, would like an education. Let's go for diplomacy. She is very well suited to it. Dustin and Greengood are both arrestable again, but what we really care for is my husband. I need to get rid of him now. That's unacceptable. Unacceptable. Let's hope so. I do like to have troops available. Aegon Targaryen is finally defeated. He however does have an heir. Commander Rhaegul of the Sunrise Gate. The last surviving Targaryen. And he lives in uh, in Pentos. Good for him. But most Master Aegon here has been killed. He was slain by Lord Loras of the Reach, who is now Lord Commander. Good. I'm glad he's finally gone, but he does have an heir. Of course, he is the last Targaryen, isn't he? Foro was hanged. Uh, I'm not sure who you are, but goodbye. It's come to my attention the Master Lords of the Iron Throne, Stefan, has bribed a friend his way. His liege is trying to press a claim on my land. They now have a strong claim on Lordship Winterfell. That bastard! You bastard! He is uh, defending against Dawn. Dawn is fighting against. Ah, the lot of them. Oh, that's a shame. Yes. Bloody vengeance. We do need a bit of bloody vengeance, don't we? Dragonstone, no claim on that. Well, why would there be? Nothing to view, there is a truce, of course. And an overview, there is once again going to be no reason. Lord Paramount, Will! Will, is that really an ironborn name there? Will! 
Good levy, though. Uh, you notice Danny is being very stubborn when she plays with other children. You know, try to explain to her that being stubborn is wrong. Yeah, sure. She also does need an education. She's very good at finance. We'll go for that. And Prince Eddard is responding very well to his education. Eddard is now old gods and Northman. Wait, who already was? That's my son. Never mind. Good news! He's gained learning. He, however, has the wrong educator. Why am I not educating my son myself? Assign a guardian. Me. This is my son, the heir to my throne. I must ensure he is good. Force a train. Yep, that's one way to do it. Excellent. He has learned a thing or two about sword fighting. We're going to call this lord here for trial now. He's actually demanding a trial by combat. Well, that's going to be very interesting. And we'll see how it goes next episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you are continuing to enjoy this content. And if I am uploading Crusade King 3 content there as well, go ahead and check it out. See you guys next time. Goodbye.